Looking up at the night sky, one can't help but wonder how the many billions of bright stars, including our own sun, came to be. To better understand their origins, astronomers must peer deep into the darkness using powerful tools like the European Space Agency's Herschel Space Observatory. In its operational lifetime, Herschel devoted over 1,500 hours of observing time to key science projects exploring different aspects of the formation of stars. Since the story of a star's life begins in the cold, dark clouds of gas between stars, astronomers designed Herschel to operate at the far limits of the infrared spectrum of light, well outside the wavelengths seen by human eyes. In this way, it could see the faint glow of dust grains present in these clouds that, in visible light, are impenetrably dark. Nearly everywhere Herschel looked in our galaxy, it found intricate, filamentary wisps in these clouds. It appears that the turbulent motions of galactic gas give rise to these filaments. While they can range from a few to a few hundred light years in length, they all seem to be about a third of a light year wide in nearby star forming regions. These observations have helped reveal how filaments play a critical role in forming stars like our Sun. As gas and dust pile up in the densest filaments, gravity takes over. They become unstable and fragment into collapsing clumps, creating the seeds of future stars. Stars that are significantly more massive than our Sun, however, originate in more extreme environments. Herschel has found such nurseries around gigantic ridges and hubs that may arise when ordinary filaments overlap. These huge reservoirs of gas and dust can, under the influence of gravity, assemble much larger stellar embryos, resulting in clusters of massive stars. When these brilliant stars are born, they light up and reshape the nearby clouds, creating spectacular nebulas. By stirring up the surroundings, these newly formed stars can, in some areas, help trigger subsequent star formation, while in other areas, inhibit it. As we learn more about the beginnings of stars, new questions arise, even as we answer the older ones. Why and how do these filaments form everywhere? What role do the magnetic fields in our galaxy play in their structure? How do pre-stellar cores build up over time? The legacy of Herschel's mission is as much the questions it has answered as it is the questions it poses for the next generations of telescopes.